Okay, let's learn how to handle situations where data is null or empty. So are there any employees who are missing data in the gender field? Let me show you how that works. All right, let's, uh, let's just select all from employee, oops, where gender. Now there's a couple ways to do this. In this, uh, in data.world, notice um, here in the database, let's go to employee. We do have some fields where there's missing data. Let's scroll over here. All right, gender, M, and F. Here's some with no data, no data. They put this, you see it grayed out, no data here. Now in a, in a real database management system, a large organizational operational database, uh, typically what you see in there is a value called null, N-U-L-L. -L. That's different from a field where data has been entered and then deleted. Typically when that happens, the, the data will be left blank. Um, although this is because it's an Excel spreadsheet, I can't edit, I can't uh, edit the file from this view, I have to open it. So uh, we can handle this problem in a couple of ways. First of all, we could say where gender is null, and that's typically how we would do it, where gender's never been entered in. I don't know, however, that that will actually run, work in data. Uh, it does, here we go. Tracy Coulter, gender, no data. So is that the only one? I thought there was multiple. Oh no, performance has a few missing. It's just gender that has one missing. So that's one way to handle it. Um, another way, if let's say gender had been entered and then deleted for a certain customer or employee, uh, you could also say where gender equals open close parentheses. And often depending on your system, that might work. In this case, uh, on this in data world, it doesn't. You could say, uh, where if you want to find something, just return all fields that have gender, you could also say where it's not equal to null. Um, and actually it looks like this one doesn't like that. Oh, sorry, not equal might be not equal. Each SQL processing engine treats this a little bit differently. So this one works here. This says, give me everybody where gender is not empty. And so you can see here, Tracy Coulter is missing from that list. We only have the people that have gender entered. Another way to do that, though, is to say where gender is not null. So what's the actual difference between all these? Hmm. Honestly, I don't, I don't know that there is a relevant difference between them. There probably is, and I just don't know it off the top of my head because it's never been relevant or important for anything that I've done. So uh, is null is not null if you want to use the equal sign and the single quotes, take your pick. Uh, but this is how we handle empty fields um, in SQL. But uh, oh, let me end this by actually answering the SQL question. There we go.